Okay, a razor blade and about a thousand uh, feet of tape, apparently. Nathan outdid himself with the tape. I bet you used a whole roll of tape on that, Nathan. But the good news is it came intact. The question is, is it the right pieces? Welcome back to the channel. We are back on the Cobra now and for a very, very specific reason. Uh, as I'm sure you're aware, if you've watched any of my previous videos on the Cobra, I've been waiting and waiting and waiting and frustrated by incorrect parts and things of that nature, waiting on two specific parts to allow me to really forge ahead on the Cobra build. Well, I just got another package in. Let's see what we've got. All right, this was just received uh, from Nathan, one of the new owners of Hurricane Motors. It certainly looks the same. Let me get a uh, box knife out and see if I can open this up and see if this is what we've been waiting for all this time. Okay, a razor blade and about a thousand uh, feet of tape, apparently. Nathan outdid himself with the tape. I bet you used a whole roll of tape on that, Nathan. But the good news is it came intact. The question is, is it the right pieces? Yes, it is the right pieces. This is the pieces I've been waiting on. It forms the inter inner fenders to the engine. These are already mounted, ready to go. Let me show you why I was uh, anxiously waiting on these. This, as mentioned in a previous video, is the uh, sump for my fuel system. It is going to mount right there. And as you can see, without those panels, I had nowhere to mount it. Now, I can go to town on it, get the fuel system up, get it running, get all the hoses run, put my radiator in to stay, and put the aluminum over the radiator in to stay. So, as you can see, this is why I have been anxiously awaiting these pieces there. I had to, of course, you got to trim just a little bit in certain areas to get them to fit properly because none of these are all the same. But, Nathan, if you are watching this, I cannot thank you enough, sir. You really came through for me. I can really start doing some work now. And now here are the aluminum pieces with the protective coating peeled off of them really starting to take shape now i can actually do something with it now i'm very very excited about this good to go on this time to mount the radiator okay as you can see it's starting to shape up now the aluminum pieces are in place i've got the aluminum up here taken care of i've got to clean that up of course the aluminum up here is in in shape everything there I've got to uh, cinch up the uh, clamps on the hoses, but it is finally starting to look like an engine compartment. Okay, day number two, since receiving the aluminum, I've managed to actually get a lot of work done. Just to give you an idea of how important it was for me to get these uh, panels in, and I may rehash some of the stuff I've already talked about, because like I said, this is I'm shooting this the, the next day, but let me show you what I've gotten done as of last evening and including today. Now I may have touched on this already. I've got the aluminum pieces in place. This right here is the sump for the fuel system that I mentioned uh, that I've got for this. I've already got the vent hose is run secured so it doesn't interfere with anything and attached. I've got to run a fuel line from the, the, the stock fuel pump up to this connection, then from this connection around to that 45 and then from this 90 to the fuel rail so that's what I'll do probably this weekend I've got to move some stuff around of tomorrow I, of course I have is my day to work in my office so I'm not gonna be able to work on it tomorrow but probably this weekend I will uh, plumb that and continue with body work also I got my uh, radiator overflow canister plumbed ready to go you can see it's going there, and of course, if it overflows completely, it can still run out to the ground like it normally would. But that is a uh, overflow canister for that that is already hooked up and ready to go, so that is good. <coughs> the engine department is starting to get a lot busier now, but as you can see, this is why I haven't been able to get a lot of work done because I've been waiting on those aluminum panels. I finally got it. You can see that we're starting to enclose the radiator shroud area the nose first pieces of the nose aluminum are in place 
so everything will run efficiently. Radiator hoses are all hooked up. The uh, serpentine belt, of course, has been on it. The plumbing is done. The shroud is on. And what comes next? Well, funny you should ask. Once I get the fuel system plumbed, the three fuel lines that I've got to run, and that's a little bit of involved because it's pressed to fit and there's a special way that you have to go about getting those on there because they do handle high pressures. Uh, once I get those hoses put together and bolted in, the next step is to start wiring. Now, uh, I've been talking to the guys that now own Hurricane Motors. I did get the incorrect dash on this particular car. I got the, um, let me see if I can turn my camera around here and show you what this is here. This dash is for the SC model. No glove box, speedometer, and tack are mounted right there. Now I'm going to show a picture of what the actual street dash does. I'll show you a couple of pictures of completed cars that have street dash versus the uh, competition dash. I'm supposed to have the competition dash, which has a different gauge arrangement <clears throat> and a glove box. Now I've been talking to the guys that now own the company, as I stated, they're going to fix me up. We're going to get that made. That might slow down the wiring process a little bit because I have to mount the gauges, obviously, and when, I, when I'm wiring them. So that might slow things down just a little bit. So I may wire everything except the gauges and then just wait on the dash. I'll just have to play that by ear. But uh, they're going to fix me up on the dash, and they already have just absolutely knocked it out of the park with customer service working with me to get the pieces that I'm missing. I'm only missing a handful of pieces now. And uh, we're really getting close to just getting down on this car and getting it finished. I'm going to stop this video here because uh, on uh, Friday uh, I'm going to start back to work on the car. And we'll post another one this weekend. So stay tuned. Got more stuff coming up on the Cobra. In a couple of weeks I am driving down to where the location is for the 32 Ford. The plan, unless something goes awry, is to do the final 600 wet sand and paint. So that car is going to get painted in a couple of weeks. The Cobra, if I've got time this weekend, the plan for it is to start the wiring, but the main thing I want to do that, uh, also, since I'm going to be priming some pieces I've got here for the 32, I've got to get them up to speed, including that hood, the dash, and things like that, I'm also going to put the first coat of primer on the body if I'm able to. So, that is coming up in the next video for the Cobra. And, of course, uh, I'm also doing some preliminary studying to get up to speed on what to do with the Volkswagen and the first steps I need to take on that. So, please stay tuned. Hit subscribe. We'll talk to you next time.